Healing Back the Truth, The Dark History of Chiquita, Business Obscura, in a world where secrets lurk behind boardroom doors and forgotten tales shape industries, we are your guides to the lesser-known side of business. Prepare to peel back the layers of history and uncover the truths that have been concealed for far too long. The Dark History of Chiquita Chapter 1 The Rise of United Fruit Company, UFC Profits Over People In the aisles of grocery stores across the United States, it is almost impossible to miss the familiar sight of bananas adorned with the oval blue sticker bearing the Chiquita logo. For most consumers, the connection between their fruity eating habits and the historical enablement of oppressive systems might seem distant or even inconceivable. However, beneath the surface, Chiquita Brand International Corporation, the world's largest banana firm, has a dark and sordid past. Formerly known as the United Fruit Company, or UFC, this corporation was notorious for its harmful involvement in regional politics, all in pursuit of maintaining a strategic monopoly in the highly profitable banana industry. Chapter 2 Orchestrating Political Coups, Guatemala, and the UFC's Influence In 1954, the UFC played a significant role in the ousting of leftist Guatemalan President Jacob Arbenz. Through a military coup orchestrated and trained by the U.S. Central Intelligence Agency, the CIA's involvement was motivated by the need to safeguard at-risk U.S. corporate interests, including those of the UFC. President Arbenz had planned to expropriate unused lands for land redistribution to indigenous peasants which posed a threat to UFC's vast land holdings. The coup plunged Guatemala into a long and brutal civil war that lasted until 1996, leaving the nation devastated and its people impoverished. The UFC's interference in Guatemala's political institutions was not an isolated incident. The company's reach extended to Colombia and other Latin American countries, where it used its influence to protect its profits and suppress any threats to its dominance. The company's actions perpetuated a cycle of instability, corruption, and human rights abuses, which hindered the development of these countries. The United Fruit Company's political interference in Guatemala and Colombia was a prime example of corporate power trumping the interests of local populations. The United Fruit Company's exploitation and monopolization of the banana industry in Guatemala were deeply entrenched. The company's dominance reached alarming levels, with over 75% of the country's banana exports under its control. This monopolistic control allowed the UFC to extract massive profits while disregarding the well-being of its workforce and the broader social and economic development of the country. Indigenous Guatemalans formed a significant part of the UFC's workforce, with many toiling on the company's banana plantations. These workers faced dire living conditions, including limited access to clean water, sanitation, and adequate housing. They were subjected to exploitative labor practices, receiving minimal wages for their back-breaking work. The UFC's control over key infrastructures like communication and major transportation systems further solidified its dominance within the country. Today, nearly 22% of the indigenous population lives in extreme poverty, trapped in a cycle of deprivation and limited opportunities. One of the darkest chapters in the company's history was the infamous 1928 Banana Massacre which highlighted the UFC's callous disregard for workers' rights and well-being. Chapter 3 – Exploitation and Suppression – The UFC in Colombia During the 1928 Banana Massacre, approximately 32,000 plantation workers, commonly referred to as banana slaves, went on strike. In response, the Colombian military, acting upon the direction of the UFC or UFC-affiliated individuals, launched a brutal attack on the striking workers. 
The massacre resulted in the deaths of an estimated 3,000 workers, a tragic and violent event that mirrored the exploitative practices faced by black slaves in the American South. Chapter 4 Chiquita's rebranding and continued complicity, the Banana Massacre exemplified the UFC's ruthless pursuit of profit, even at the expense of human lives. Please make sure to hit that like button, share with your network, and subscribe to our channel. Even after undergoing a rebrand as Chiquita Brands International, the corporation formerly known as the United Fruit Company continued to be embroiled in controversy and complicity in Latin America. Chiquita's actions in recent years reveal a company that has failed to fully distance itself from its dark past. Chiquita Brands International admitted to paying nearly $2 million to right-wing death squads in Colombia that targeted labor union leaders. These payments were part of a strategy to protect the company's interest and suppress workers' demands for fair wages and better working conditions. The revelation of Chiquita's financial dealings with international terrorist organizations led to the U.S. Department of Justice imposing a $25 million fine and placing the company on five years probation. These revelations highlight the ongoing challenges surrounding corporate accountability and the need for greater transparency within global supply chains. Chiquita's complicity in human rights abuses raises serious questions about the company's commitment to ethical practices and responsible business conduct. Despite attempts to distance itself from its dark past, Chiquita's involvement in Latin American politics continues to raise concerns. The company's actions serve as a reminder that the journey towards corporate responsibility is an ongoing process. Businesses must take concrete steps to ensure ethical practices throughout their operations and supply chains. Chapter 5 Miss Chiquita Banana – Perpetuating Harmful Stereotypes The controversies surrounding Chiquita underscore the importance of consumer awareness and the need for individuals to make informed choices about the products they support. By demanding transparency and holding corporations accountable, Consumers can play a crucial role in promoting responsible business practices and creating a more equitable global economy. The United Fruit Company perpetuated harmful stereotypes, particularly through its rebranding as Chiquita. The introduction of the Miss Chiquita Banana logo further objectified and etoxicized Latin American women, reinforcing unrealistic and demanding stereotypes. The Miss Chiquita Banana mascot became a prominent symbol for the company, but its representation of Latin American women was highly problematic. The logo reduced Latin American women to objects of desire, emphasizing their physical appearance rather than their intelligence, skills, or contributions. This perpetuation of sexist imagery not only undermined the fight for gender equality, but also reinforced harmful stereotypes that continue to impact the lives of Latin American women. Moreover, the racist undertones of Chiquita's rebranding were revealed through the mascot's earliest appearances. In one of the company's Technicolor commercials, a caricatured African man is depicted in a racially insensitive manner, attempting to consume a white man. Chapter 6 – The Call for Corporate Consciousness Regrettably, Chiquita has managed to maintain its monopoly on the banana industries of Central and South America, with the majority of its products being sold within the United States. This unsettling reality serves as a stark reminder to business audiences that sustainable consumption extends beyond environmental consciousness. It necessitates an understanding of the ethical and moral implications of supporting corporations with histories marred by oppression and exploitation. Peeling back the layers of Chiquita's history reveals a complex narrative that challenges our perceptions and calls for corporate accountability. Consumers must be proactive in making informed choices, ensuring their purchases contribute to a more just and equitable world. By demanding transparency and supporting businesses that prioritize ethical practices and social responsibility, individuals can drive positive change within the global economy. 
Sustainable consumption demands not only an awareness of where our food comes from, but also an understanding of who benefits economically and who suffers as a result of our choices. By embracing corporate consciousness, we can pave the way for a more sustainable and socially just future. It is time to peel back the truth and demand accountability from the corporations that shape our world. Be sure not to miss out on our latest video, or you can also check out the highly recommended ones situated on the right. Remember to show your appreciation by tapping that thumbs up button, spread the enlightenment of this thought-provoking documentary with your circle, and become a subscriber to receive an array of enthralling content.